gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions and another five-star gold character gameplay preview video. And today, we're taking it back a notch. We're focusing on the mutant version of John Cena, the prototype. And uh, I never noticed how gnarly that spine looked before. That's actually really awesome looking, but uh, he's got no gear. He's got no gear. We'll take a look inside the poster again, even though we've done this before. Now, moves that generate silence gems will create up to five more. So hopefully y'all got him there during his free month. But if you didn't, there's still a chance. And I've wanted to do this video for a hot minute because he does get some buffs at 5-star gold. And also because of the new Hall of Fame Yokozuna that just came out could really beef this man up. So let's take a look at the first move set. We are going to run the finisher. 10 charge, yellow, deal 71,000 damage. Plus 9363 bonus damage for every reinforced gem and pin the opponent. We got mutated steel skin, yellow move, seven charge, deal 66k damage, and choose four rows to make into reinforced. Now that's only three before four star or five star gold, so it gets a whole extra row. And then we got the mutated shoulder block, six charge green, deal 54,000 damage, and gain six yellow MP. So you hit the green, you fill the yellows, you choose the rows, you hit the big finish, bada boom. And so we're running George Steele because we want to hit the green. That'll fill the yellows. We got JYD for 35% reinforced gem damage. We got Hall of Fame Yoko for 100% reinforced gem damage. And I'm going to do a match after this without Yoko so you can see how that would go. And then I got Hollywood Hogan on here because I really couldn't come up with another good one. Uh, I don't have Hall of Fame Rude who'd be yellow move damage or Gooker who'd be any move damage or anything like that. So we're just going to go with uh, in case we get in a bad spot, we'll charge moves up a little faster take a look at the title here uh we are double armored out with only a 37k flat yellow move damage metal on there i wish i had a percentage armor metal but i don't and we got the heavy machinations uh skill plate on here whenever you break three or more yellow gems get three green mp at the end of your turn so that's actually going to be super helpful so let's get out here on the road against mark henry and see what we can do with mutant cena All right, so we're gonna start with uh, green loaded there. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. I love that move so much. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And yellow will double break there. That's actually pretty awesome. Ooh, look at that. 100k on a yellow reinforced swipe there. You gotta love it. And that's actually gonna let us hit a big bopper here. Oh my goodness. Nearly full board. We're only missing two gems. Only missing two gems. Let's see it, ladies and gentlemen. 101k plus 22k for every one of these reinforced. Survey says 1.1 million damage on the finisher. But the reinforce will make it a little easier to kick out, I suppose. But not for Mr. Henry. Get him out of here. Put him down right now. Wow, what a setup there. That's a big damage. I knew it was going to be pretty decent. Wow, you got to love it. You gotta love it. Now, we'll take Yoko off. We'll get out here. We'll do one without. Okay, we're gonna run the same set. Uh, like I said, but I'm gonna put Santa Hogan in. Everybody's favorite new coach. Just for some extra gem damage. Maybe he pins me. Maybe I need to swipe some gems on the board. You can never go wrong adding 1,100 damage to each gem. So, we'll do the run it back here without the crazy new coach. And we'll see what we can do. So that should be good. That's why I brought Hogan. In case I just need to swipe green, it'll fill it. Ooh. That double fill there. But we're going to actually get right in the same position we were in last match. Actually, actually we're going to fill the board. Yeah, we're going to have a complete board. But no Yoko.
The skill play hasn't even been too much of a factor yet. This is actually, uh, he's actually pretty good. Boom, what do we get? 720k without Yoko training, so that was a huge boost. Now we're kind of stuck, though. We got nothing. Ooh, I wish I had yellow to break. I wish I had yellow to break while I was in that pin, because the skill plate would have allowed me to fill. Now, if we can get yellow to come in inside this sub, we'll be good to go. Okay, I'm going to try to leave that alone a little bit because this is a long sub. Dang, really? That's all I got? Oh, okay. All right, well, had to had to go early there. That's all right. We still got yellow down here. Ugh. Have to take it. <coughs> Okay, that was a lot longer than I wanted to be in a submission. But we're ready to start the cycle. We're ready to start the cycle. We got it ready again. Just fill in the ones that need the most help here. So that one, that one, that one. And that one. So this should be another 700k. Six ninety six. Yeah, that's the thing. The reinforced gems, I guess, make it easier for the opponent to kick out. So, that's the kicker with this set. That sub's ready to go again.
Okay, we do take some some yellow coming out of that. Ooh, that's the best case scenario there. Hopefully the next one puts him down. Now, we haven't taken a ton of damage from him. So at least there's that. Now, if this was somebody who put out a ton of damage, we might be toast here, but... Hmm. Do I play for another turn here? I'm actually gonna. Just in case he kicks out again, I really want that yellow to be ready to go off. Plus, we're gonna get a full board here again. Come on, that one's got to do it right. That one's got to do it right. Maybe a cheap shot played on this too. 695 there. I feel like I hit 700k on the first one. How did that happen? And three. So it took a little longer, but still got the job done. And uh, we're going to check out another moveset still. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so... If we're going to look at another moveset here, we can go ahead and sub the submission in for the finisher. So we got the STF 8 charge yellow sub. Place 7 sub gems and do 12,000 damage for 5 turns. Remaining sub gems turn into reinforce. So uh, we could hit that. Otherwise than that, there's the mutated sit out power bomb 9 charge green. Convert all immobile gems to reinforce. We don't have immobile gems. We're not going against somebody else who is. So that's going to be useless for this video. And the blue moves just ain't doing it for me. So uh, the six charge blue makes seven random yellow and a one charge blue that makes reinforce into yellow. I mean, you could stack both of them with the mutated steel skin for the four rows of reinforced gems and just keep going back to that. But that's not a lot of damage output for a recycle move set like that at five star gold. That's not going to get it done at all so if you want to see him using the blue moves you might uh go take a look at uh my other video with him but for now we are going to focus on the sub and we got steel on there still for the green move to start with more mp but then we're going to put zombie aj uh for three more submission turns and then we're going to put Drew McIntyre tech on here to coach for 50% more damage per yellow sub turn and an extra turn and then Shelton Benjamin for 15% damage on sub so 20,000 damage for nine turns it's uh it's a little bit more than we had before and then we left the plate exactly the same now this could take a while um, but you're going to keep the opponent's moves on charge so it's going to be a long match but it should work out pretty decently I would think Remember, every time we break yellow, we're going to recycle that green. So we don't have to f rush to do the submission. We don't have to rush to do the submission. So this is 100k damage to do this. And... Hmm. Now, if I put reinforced gems down, it's going to help him as well. So I'm actually not going to put that down yet. I got him to take this five match so he doesn't get it. Because he needs that. He's still not charged, and I got a long sub. So I'm actually going to take the yellow match, which is going to make my skill plate go off. And it's going to be the long game here. So you got to be thinking two, three turns down the line. So now that my other moves are about back to full, now I go ahead and hit the submission. And this is our, our biggest damage output. So you can imagine how long this would take. I may not even play this whole match out for the video because it would probably take, it's probably going to be a 10 minute match or better. We were only doing 180,000 damage with that sub. 
But once you get the picture, we'll we'll make sure we're going to be able to keep somebody locked up in it a while. But go ahead and gain yellow MP. Now, I don't have a yellow match or a green match. Again, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and use this, but I'm not going to make any reinforced gems because I'm not taking bonus damage anymore and I don't want to put I need the board to kind of change because I have a bad board right now too and I don't want gems to get stuck on the board any longer than they need to. Oh, of course he gets the green match out of that. All right, my sub's ready, but I'm going to take the yellow match on this turn because I'm still safe. Ooh, got a double yellow match there. I'll use the reinforced gems in a situation where I need to charge my moves back up. You can get extra charge out of that. I'm going to go ahead and use this now. And again, I'm not going to put the gems down because I don't need them anywhere yet. I'm just going to take that 100k. I don't use the finisher instead of that because I don't want to pass the turn. The finisher would be a little more damage, but I don't want to pass the turn. And the finisher without all the extra reinforced gems isn't going to be strong enough to hold a pin. So as you can see, I've taken like no damage and we're whittling him down. His moves don't have a chance really. It would probably take some real bad luck for him to come back in this match. and get the yellow mp and we got a yellow match here so that's going to fill our yellows and get our green right back to where we need it it was a matter of fact here's that situation where i'm going to go ahead and hit this because now i can double up the charge on the yellow from that and refill that move again And I'm not swiping this turn, so I'm not going to put any down. This may be a more sure bet to win a long road match. Let's say you need to do a mutant requirement on the road and he's your best. This is probably, you know, in Feuder Showdown, you ain't got this kind of time to play a match. On the road, you got all the time you need. Or on a blitz, if you had to use him for blitz, this would be a good setup. I see even in that, there's a bad situation where I'm just taking his color. It's really not affecting us because he's still not close to hitting his moves. I'm still using this to gain yellow MP. And it's like any time you can match yellow or green, you're good to go. Hmm, what to do here? I'm actually going to take the sub again this time. Let's see if uh, messing up the rotation here does anything. I hadn't been going to the sub early before, so let's burn up the sub early now, do some more damage, and see if that allows him to come back in this match at all. I'm saving the reinforced gem move because my hope is I'll come out of this and get a yellow match on my next turn and can use the reinforced gems to refill everything again. All right, well, he didn't take the green and I don't need to use reinforce on that. I should have used the yellow move there though just for the damage. That was silly. Don't need it. Hit that, and then the yellow match is going to put us right back where we need to be. That gives us green back. Let's go ahead and hit the sub again here. It's the long game. As you see, I got half his health down now, and we're like eight minutes in, so... I think you pretty much get the picture on this, and I'm not going to do another move set, so...
Like I said, I don't know that you need to watch a whole nother eight minutes of the same exact thing that we're doing here. I think you get the picture on this move set by now. At least I hope you do. See, you got a green match on the board, if anything. Can always hit the yellow. Again, don't need to use the stuff. All it's going to do is jack your board up to do that too. Oh, he's got a red wild card. Can he can he actually get back in this match? I doubt it. Try and save that. What's over here? All right, that was about as uh as good as he was going to get it there. There's some damage. Look at that. Everything's full again. All my moves are full. He's down to 2 million health. You get the picture. So, there you go. Five-star gold mutant Cena gameplay. I'm getting out of here on this match. I can't take it no more. It's a long match. But if you get Hall of Fame Yoko, he's doing some damage there. So, let me know down in the comments below if there was a build or something that I missed. But I think we pretty much covered all the bases. So, yeah, I'll leave you with that. Until next time, y'all.